there. Who wants an easy peasy lemon squeezy natural eyeshadow look? Raise your hand. Let me see those hands. I see your hand. There you go. I'm going to show you something super easy to do. My name is Patty McLean and I am inspired when women are their authentic self. So all you need are probably four products that you already have at home. Just need four eyeshadows in a neutral palette. You need a few brushes and let's get started really quickly, okay? The first color that I'm going to use is the color Ansi. It's this little shimmer right here. We're just gonna take that on our brush and put it all over the movable lid. So that's just right over your eyelid here. You're just gonna put this color all over just like that. Super easy. You can put it as dark and dramatic as you want. I'm gonna do a super neutral look because I need to go run to the grocery store. We don't need to be drama mama today, do we? Not today, nope. The next color that we're going to use is the color Nimble. But now that color is right here. And what we're gonna do with this color is we're either going to put it in the crease if you are someone that does not have hooded eyes or you're gonna draw it slightly up to the brow bone which is right here, okay? And I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned from one of my uh, colleagues. She takes an eyebrow or an eyelash curler, excuse me, and she takes that color and puts it right where the top of the metal is just like that. And that's how she knows if you have hooded eyes, that's how she knows where to put that color. And you're not bringing it all the way in. We're just gonna put it really simply on that brow bone right there, just like that. See how easy peasy that is? Now the next color that we're going to take is just slightly um, darker, and we're gonna take that color, this is called Marvelous. We're gonna take it with a slightly denser brush, and we're just going to go right over what we just did. We're just gonna add a little bit of depth there, and then we're gonna take what's left over, squeeze it, and put it right along the lash line down here. Super easy to do. I'm not Again, I'm not coming all the way in. I wanna leave as much light in this area as I can. I'm gonna do it to the next eye. Make sure you tap that off. Put it right over the nimble that we put there earlier. Really kind of blend it out. And then we're gonna take it, squeeze what's left, so we don't have to use a different brush, and just put that right all over the lash line, just like that so far so good right super easy now for me i like to take a bigger fluffier brush and blend all these colors together like that it's just going to provide a kind of an ombre effect pretty flawless look there super easy to do just going to blend all these in i might even just kind of run it down here just to make sure it's a little smudged out so it's not so stark looking if you know what i mean okay the last color we're going to use is this color called marvelous it's a beautiful color and we're going to take this brush right here i'm just going to take this and what we're going to do with this is super easy we're going to put it under the brow bone okay and what that's going to do is that's going to bring light to this area of the eye see how that looks lifted on this side versus this side then we're going to put it over here now if you have hooded eyes you don't want to put too much under here you're just really putting it there because you don't want to draw attention to this hooded eyeness over on your brows there make that a little bit even and then again we're going to take it and we're going to blend those two colors into each other the nimble and marvelous and the optimistic together just so that there's no harsh line between them just like that easy right and then we're also going to take this same brush you can use your finger also i'll show you how to use your brush and your finger and just take it in there and we're gonna put it right on the inner corner of your eye, right near the tear duct, just like that, okay? And then that just brings a little bit of light there. Also, you, take, you can use your finger, take it on your finger and just kind of pop it right in that same area, just like that. Easy peasy, right? I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to show you really quickly one of my favorite lip looks. So this is our lip liner called Pouty. And all I do is I kind of overline just a little bit. When I say overline, it's very slight. As you can see, see the difference that that just made a little bit right there. I don't have that sharp 
sharpness in the middle there for my cupid's bow but i can pretend that it's there and kind of draw that in a little if you go slightly over it's super slight and then slightly over on the bottom provides a little bit more of a pouty lip see how the difference that is cool right I didn't know how to do this until I literally just watched other of my colleagues and watched YouTube videos. And then I like to color that in just a little bit. So if I drink coffee or anything or use a straw, then that, um, that color stays if I wear it off at all or eat. So this is my favorite lip color called Stellar. It is one of my favorite neutrals. In fact, I feel like I'm almost out. I wear this color probably three times a week. I just love it so and much. One more trick I wanna show you, just take a lighter lipstick or take a, a concealer. I can't think of the word of it, the name of it, my goodness. Take a little bit of a concealer that you have left, put it on your pinky and then just drop it right in the middle and blend it out. And there you have a little bit of an ombre look, which then makes your lips look a little bit plumper. So see, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This eye look is super simple, super neutral. Anyone can wear it. If you have hooded eyes or non-hooded eyes, anybody, anybody can wear this look. So if you have any questions, just drop your questions below. If you like more information on these products, just say the word products below, okay? Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.